skies are starting to look a little better. It's had a lot of rain and storms going on today, but we can only hope that we are going to get clear sailing for tonight's match at Geodis Park because Jest is going. And the last time Jesta went, was that the last time you went or have you been since then? You've been since then. No, we, you've been since then. Well, last time Jess went, we got a two hour weather delay. Hey, 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 it's Uncle Mad, of course. And Jesta and I are about to make our way to Geodis Park to see Nashville SC take on Austin FC. Can the boys in gold take down Verde and keep the hot streak they've been on going? I don't know, we'll find out. It's everybody's favorite weekly segment. Uncle Mad complains about going up these stairs. So Jesta brought one of her famous uh, weather delays with her to the match. So figured we'd pop in the team store, see what's going on here while we wait out the storm. You did this. I'm not getting it today, but uh, it's the first time I've seen this nice uh, black on black hat. Maybe a future purchase for a future game. When my current hat's lucky streak runs out, maybe I'll get this one to be the new one. Just considering buying the uh, ch kick childhood cancer top that they're wearing for warm-ups tonight, but I don't see it anywhere in this store. Maybe one of the smaller stores has it. All right, so we got a new kickoff time of 8.29. It's about an hour delay if everything holds on, so not too terrible, not too terrible. Hey, the Empanada guys, they recognized me and saw my video, uh, just a quick one I put on Twitter me eating it, so they do good work here. I just had a little bite of a chicken one. The beef one might have competition for best food here because that chicken is fire too. I always just say the Empanada place. I'm going to try to use their name. I believe it's Shivanada. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm probably wrong. Let me know in the comments down below how, what I'm saying it wrong. I think the teams are taking the field for warm-ups now, so that's a good sign. All right, somehow I overlooked this on the local vendors list. It wasn't listed on the website, so I blame Nashville C, not me, but uh, I got to try Alabrige to get the full local vendors completed. All right, we've got the Alabrige. Pork Carnitas Street Tacos. Corn apple teas. Go again. Yeah. 
Shuffleberg. Free kick coming up for Austin FC. I wouldn't go as far as to say the referee's been poor today, but uh, probably not his best performance, I would say. shot the ball. You're going to give him another shot at it? Come on, guy. So, Godoy, that's uh, Anibal Godoy. He sits behind the wall for the wall. will jump to try to block a high shot. So he's there in case the shot goes underneath the wall. Hey, still missed. Good spot for a Muntar free kick. See if he can make something of it. Just so he can see happen. No, no, nobody's taking a nap on the ground like they did over here. Good note, good observation. Wall did its job. Put it back to the lips. We got Teal Bunbury making his return. Ake Loba still recovering from a Trump issue. Welcome back, TL. It's not a match to Eddie Mundor scores! Woo! Take that one off the board, Blue. Let's go ahead. MVP! 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 Down at the end there with their striker Deontay getting sent off. Two yellow cards in like 30 seconds. Couldn't keep a school, got sent off. Three points for Nashville SC. Huge result. from the match. Another huge result for Nashville SC. 3-0 win over Austin oh, wait, what's my answer? Hold on. Over Austin FC. Huge result. That was three points we needed to be able to get three points at home against one of these tough teams we've got coming down the home stretch here. That's going to be huge. Gotta say, after this match, to me, there's only one MVP candidate left right now. Still like, what, five, six matches left to go? But I mean, if Hanny Mukhtar isn't your leader in the clubhouse to be the MLS MVP of the season, then I don't know what you're watching. Uh, Sebastian DeRussi, the guy he's supposedly going head-to-head -head with from Austin FC, he vanished in this match, you know. I don't know if National SC had some tactical stuff that was negating him, who knows, but I was actively watching him, trying to see what the hype is all about, what his deal is, and just didn't do anything. He was just a ghost in the match today. But we play the, them again in two weeks. We go down to Austin for that match. I'm sure they'll be ready for that one. They'll have looked at this game, figured out what they did wrong. DeRussi, I'm sure, will want to show off and say, hey, everything handy did in that match, you're going to see for me in the next one. So that'll be a completely new challenge, completely different game. 
they're obviously a tough team. They're in a good spot in the uh, standings because of their performances up to this point. But got them again in two weeks. We've got LAFC. We've got Galaxy. And we've got Houston left to go, I think. Did I miss any games in there? We might have another game in there somewhere that I missed. But tough run of games to end the season. To get three points in this one is huge. I think we needed at least six points between these tougher matchups. So to get three off the board... Huge result, huge win for the boys in gold tonight. Awesome environment. Geotis was rocking again. It's been getting back to its glory with the performances we've been getting lately. So hopefully that can continue. We'll be back out there next Saturday for the next home match. You can be there with us if you subscribe to the channel and turn the bell on for notifications so you never miss when we post an update here to the channel. I don't know if I mentioned this. I can't remember if I mentioned this during earlier parts of the vlog, but... Jesta went and got the chicken empanadas from Chiavadas, which I had the beef, which I had rated as the best thing to eat in the entire stadium. The chicken, holy smokes. Might be just as good, if not better than the beef. So the empanadas are the best thing in the stadium. Chicken, beef, whatever. Highest recommendation goes to them of the local vendors. I'm going to try some of There's some other stands that aren't technically local vendors. I was planning to start them today, but then I realized the tacos are also a local vendor, so I had to get them into the mix. I put them around the range of princes. They were good, but I probably wouldn't get them again because they were like 15 bucks, and it was three tacos that I ate in one bite. So it was 15 bucks for three bites of food. Three very good bites of food, but... Something I probably wouldn't get again, but it is good. So I'd put it in that same range of Prince's, above Central, above Corner Pub. Probably not as good as Rock and Dough, and obviously not as good as the Empanadas. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Come on, you boys and gold. Hopefully they keep on rolling. Playoffs just around the corner.